Around about this time of year, Aldi takes to live in a little house. Uh, and most of the time I need to take her food to her because she doesn't want to come out. She's preparing a little rudimentary nest and she usually lays around six eggs. She's normally happy having me feed her the box, but today she jumps out and sits on my head. Weird bird. The sheep seem to be faring alright in the mud, um, though I do need to check their feet sometime soon. We feed them a couple of times a day and they've got plenty of hay, so they seem to be doing alright. has been a bit dry for a couple of days but the rain's starting again and the field's turning really muddy so I'm bringing the horses in again. pleased to be in, relieves himself on his nice clean straw. Hello. With the apocalypse nigh and social distancing and isolating being all the vogue, I have a quiet moment with the sheep. After a couple of days in, I turn the horses out, uh, but there's not much grass left at all, just a thin strip and then that's it. All out of grass. Jane starts to turn over the allotment, mixing the horse muck with the soil, and then she suggests to me that I really need to get my finger out because she wants to plant a dahlias and there's a lot of allotment that needs covering with horse muck. So, taking care to socially distance myself, I start about shifting the muck to the allotment. As always, suitably supervised by Chester. Making good use of another strategically placed land bridge. And repeat. Fed up with barrowing stuff packers and forwards, I have a play with Kenzo to consolidate on his jumping and lying down. nine chickens and we get on average four eggs a day, occasionally five once we've had six. Another barrel added to catch a little bit more rain. And back to the seemingly never ending task of moving horse muck to the allotment.
So that brings you roughly up to date with the happenings at Little Glebe Acres and we're in the early days of the coronavirus saga. Oh, 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 oh.